Morning, everyone. So today's class is a class for the legs and Gabby's face, which is like not that happy, is because we had to restart after like three minutes of me talking. So Gabby, <laughs> like. So quickly, today's class is about the legs. It's about strengthening the legs, but also main flexibility from the legs. And more than flexibility is mobility, which is kind of that the cross in between the two is getting stability into the legs, using the strength of the legs, but at the same time, allowing the range of motion, allowing that flexibility to be part of your process. Okay, uh, and it's going to be a pose slightly dedicated to a friend of Gabby who cannot use her hands and kind of do any exercise because she she had an injury into her hands so we're going arm. to try to do it or into her arm yeah we're going to try to do something that is basically a class without the hands okay so first thing first we're going to lift up without using the hands so we're thinking of you please okay. so first thing we're going to do gabby knows this one is yeah <laughs> first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to lift yeah. and then trying to lift can be very hard gabby can do it very easily so if you're sitting and you need to stand up and you don't have the range of motion an easy way of doing is crossing your legs okay you practice it at school you practice it at school oh my god okay so if you don't have the range of motion that gabby has you can cross your legs gabby can you show me your cross legs move your weight forward and then once like, you have the weight forward, you extend your legs hard and you lift. Cross legs. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really move forward. And then the same thing to go down. <laughs> Bring the feet a little bit closer to your buttocks. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And feel that you're moving forward. <laughs> feel and then lift. Like about <laughs> No, Gabby. Come on, come on. You can do it. I'm, and then down yeah. and down. How? So if you can do that one, <laughs> then we're going to try Gabby's one. Oh. Okay, Gabby can do it. So it means base. <laughs> I think maybe it's just the side of her legs is not that flexible. But yet she can do this one. So <laughs> if you can do the other one, you can try to do this one. So you're going to bring your feet together or your feet slightly apart. You're going to this one really depends on your flexibility, which Gabby has. Oh, you're going to move nice. So you're going to move forward, same thing. Forward. For me, this one is just impossible. Forward and then lift. In my case, I have to bring your, my feet back a little bit. And last thing you could do to lift is have a block. So bring your feet together. Back. Same thing when you're going down. We're going to bend the knees, bend the knees, and then go down. I heard a crack. I know my knees always crack. Go down. It's easier to go down than to go up, but then going down helps you to move up. So if you have weight into your hand, sometimes it's easier not for me to do. And then lift. And this is the, the lack of motion for me is all about my ankle flexibility. I really have kind of lack of ankle flexibility, so which the reason I do so many my bassin is to try to increase. Okay, so we're going to start actually into the back of the mat. Yes, you're right, monkeys. And we're going to take a little bit of what we did last week, but then focusing on the legs. Okay, we're going to put ourselves into either the border, or if you have a line into the mat, into the mat. Yeah, but you, but we're, not, line. we're not. We're going to use the line of the of the mat. So you can go on the outside border of the mat. Yeah, nice, beautiful. And then we're going to. Lift the knee, extend the leg, hold, ah. three, two, one, it's already his leg. Bend the knee, cross it in front of the other leg, and then move down. Move down. You can keep your balance with your mom. Go as low as you need, and you can. Inhale, lift. Knee into the chest. Release the foot forward. Use a little bit forward. Opposite thing. Knee into the chest. Extend. Bend the knee. Cross. Bend down. Come on. Nice. 
go as low as you can. Feel the stretch into your hips. Inhale, lift with control. Knee into the chest. Breathe these out. If you don't have as much balance, then hold hands with your mom. Your mom can help you. Oh, <laughs> but don't, don't try to bring your mom down. Knee into the chest. Cross the leg. Where is the leg? Like oh, extend? yes. Extend, extend. Oh, yes, guy. You see? Use the quads to lift it up. Use the butt chucks. <laughs> Bend the knee. Cross it. And then go down. Inhale up. Release the foot. Last side. Knee into the chest. Extend the leg. Hold. Hold. Use the core. Use your quads. Use the hamstrings. Bend. Cross. Number four in your legs. And down. Beautiful. And release. Inhale up. Bring your foot into the line. Open your foot, other foot to the opposite line. It's mm. so wide as the mat. Toes out. Heels in. Hands into a prayer. Where are we going? Do you think we're going? Down. Down. Into what pose? Quiz for Gabby. I know Bill has it. No. What pose? What is the name of that pose? How do you call it normally? What is this if you go down? Squat. Or ma. Lasana. Ma lasana. Nice. And you can bring the heat that um, heels in a little bit if you have the range of motion. Find your squat. Oh, this is so. If you don't have the range of motion, you can be here. That's completely fine. You have your malasana. Great. Not yet, Gabby. We're gonna do that, but not yet. Inhale, that lift. Was on purpose. And lift the legs. Really nice exercise for the legs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you feel it? Yeah. No. Right knee into the chest. We have a wall, so we cannot kick. But you're gonna kick. Gabby's gonna kick. Mm -hmm. Kick forward. Not into the wall. Aww. Kick forward. So Use the core. Easy. Use the core. Now you're going to rotate your leg, move it to the back. Find your mat. And find your crescent pose. Hands up. Crescent, Gabby. Nice. We're going to stand the leg. We're going to move forward. Forward, forward, touch with the fingers, only the fingers, only one finger. Bring the heel down if you need for a pyramid pose. Inhale, lift. We're going to, do you know what is a beer fitter? Have you seen a bird fitter? So it was like a nice sewing that you used to have and then the bird was like just grabbing water. So we're going to be a bird getting water. Like flamingos, we did this in the flamingos. So hips forward, and then you're gonna bring the hands forward, hands forward, hands forward. You don't need to touch the floor, but you can. And then you're then move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward, the bird feet, and then up, up, and up. Use the legs forward, 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 forward. Try to bring your hips more. Forward, Gabby, your right hip, push your right hip forward and inhale up, up, up. Bend the knee and find your warrior two. Extend the legs. Bend the back knee. We're going to serve. That's not how you serve. I know, but you're going to try to serve that way. Serve or lunge. Extend. Surfer's lunge. Ah, uh, it's a surfer's lunge. Lunge. A sandwich? Not a sandwich. Extend the legs. 
Heels in, toes out, hands into the into your hips, open. And exhale forward. Heels out, toes in. Don't need the hands. Hands are staying into the hips. Now start moving your chest towards the back foot, and your left foot. Nice. Find your crescent. Same thing. Crescent pose. Hold. Three, two, one. Then extend the leg. Pyramid pose. Bird feet. Move forward, 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 forward. Grab something from the floor and up. Then forward, forward, forward. Eat. Then up, up, up. Last three. Forward. Forward, forward, and up, 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 forward, 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 and then up, 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 bend the front knee, find your warrior two. Can be strong, lean to your leg, look at your first and second toe, forward, or walk to the back of the mat in this case. Now extend the legs, extend the legs, serve for lunch. Mm. Or skandasana here. Okay. Anything that doesn't mean that you're using the hands. Remember, you're not using the hands, you're not teaching the lips and win. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Then your serve for lunch if you need to. Extend the legs, extend the legs, extend the legs. Hands into your hips, open the chest, toes out, heels in. And exhale forward. <laughs> forward, forward, forward. Hands into the hips, stay here. This time you move all the way to the front, the front, the front, the front. Extend both legs. Lift the back knee, find your crescent lunge. Send your hands forward, hands forward, hands forward to find a warrior three. And then lift, 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 lift the opposite legs forward. Oh, come in. And then extend. Nice, beautiful. Foot into the out into the outside line of the mat. The other foot into the outside line of the mat. And Malasana. Malasana. Okay. Or halfway. Ready? Hands forward or hands into your prayer. Down. 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 You can bring them a little bit closer. Hold. Find the front of the of the legs is going to be like, oh my god. Especially for me with my ankles. Three, two, one. Push up. Gabby. Not teaching Clarissa. Well, how are you going to go up? Imagine if you were Clarissa, you cannot use your hands. No go down. Okay. Yeah. Uh, up. Nice. <laughs> uh -huh. Better. Okay, so don't, don't be like Gabby. Be like me. I'm cooler. Yeah? No. All right, we're going to move into our left side. We're going to lift our right foot. foot. Yes, it's right foot. Oh, was it? I think left, yeah. Okay, was it? Just so, the right yeah, one. exactly. Move into the right side of the mat, standing into your right foot. Lift the knee into the chest and extend. I can extend. Extend, hold with all your might, oh. all your core, extend. Extend, extend, extend. Yeah, it's going to go towards the outside, towards the outside, towards the outside, towards the outside, and move back. Find your crescent, Gabby. Nice crescent no, that pose. Not good. Find your crescent. Nice, better. Find your crescent pose. Good. 
Breathe. Crescent pose, Gabby. Leave the back. Heel. That's it. Then hug your hips. Hug the hips. Nice. Extend both legs. Both legs. Hands together. Or we're going to feed our bird. Feed our bird. We're going to go for Feed the bird. We're going to eat. And then walk. Then we're going to forward, forward, forward. And then up, up, up. Forward, forward, forward. Up, up, up. Last time. Then up, up, up. Now, hips to the side, bend the front knee. Find your warrior two. No, find your warrior two. Not yet. So if you're into a warrior two, you're going to look forward. Make sure you can see your first and second toe. Bend the knee, Gabby. Yeah. Look at your first and second toe. Oh, you can, can you see them? Mm -hmm. Now, try to imagine you're in the middle of a wall, and that wall is getting closer, closer, and closer. Nice, better, Gabby. Can I be like this? No, <laughs> you have to be like a spring, because here, it's gonna cross your arms. Right here, it's gonna. Elongate you. Right, stay into your warrior two. And now extend the leg, and we're going to go into surfer's lunge here. Surfer's lunge. Not lunge, lunge. I know. Very fun. Our is naked. Can Gabby no using the hands? I know. Then why are you using them? Then stay into surfer's lunge. I use the finger. No, then you have to stay to surfers lunge. And then up, uh, up, and up. Okay, if I can. Nice. <laughs> From here, I'm going to move hands into the hips, toes out, heels in, chest up. Only the chest, not the head. And then forward, forward. Forward. As you move forward, you're going to bring the toes in, toes in, toes in, and down. No hands, mommy. No hands, yeah. Can you like move your hands? Hands against opposite elbows, or hands into the hips. Use the legs to lift you up, 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 up. And move yourself to mm -hmm. the other side. Warrior two. And a first lunge. Move to the back. Find the lunge. Find your crescent. Hips are in line. So push your right hip forward. Hands up, Gabby. Hold. Three, two, one. We're gonna extend the leg. Extend both legs. We're gonna feed our birds. Forward, 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 forward. And then up, up, up. And forward, 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 forward. And then up, 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 up. Last side. Forward, 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 forward. Up, 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 up. Nice. Bend the knee, find your warrior two. Hands open. Try to bring your hips in line. Stay here. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend the legs. Feet point out. Toes, uh, toes point out, heels in. Open the chest, chest up. Big, so forward, and as you move forward, your toes are going to come in. Hands again, opposite elbows, and you can just roll side to side, like a pendulum, or back and forth. 
No use in the hands. Feel the back of your legs getting longer. Is it feeling longer, Tabi? Mm -hmm. Nice. Without using the hand, you're going to move forward, 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 forward. Hands to the back or hands to the front. You're going to move into your warrior three, warrior three, warrior three, warrior three. And up, 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 up. You can keep your toes down a little bit if you need to. Knee into the chest. Extend the leg, holding for five, four, three, two, one. Outside and outside of the mat. You can bring them closer if you feel that you're getting a little bit of flexibility. You can keep your toes slightly pointing to the side. Then down, 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 and down. We're going to stay here for about a minute. So you can use your hands inside, then push to the back and try to find your more straight position into more straight position into your chest. Hold. No use in the hands. You can't use the hands. Hold. Last 20 seconds. Hold. Feel the stretch into the front side of the legs, into your ankles. That's five. That's four. That's three. That's two. And what allows buttocks to go down is going to be nice. We're going to move back without using our hands. This is called buttocks walk. Buttocks walk. Buttocks walk. Extend the legs. Hands, just release them into. No, but those floppy legs, those floppy. Yes. No, toes up. Facing? Facing the sky. Or, or, or yeah, toes Facing pointing the to the sky. The sky. Then get tall, get tall, get tall. Really tall. Yeah, from here, feel that you're like being pulled up into the sky. See my you're like whoop, whoop. So you're like crunching and you're like whoop, whoop, whoop. We can crunch again. We can play that game. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Now grab your thread, grab the other thread, grab the rope into the back of your chest into the back of your back and then up and up and then up and then up and then up your grow tool try it again grab your rope grab the other rope then push up then push up push up and up and up then in turn last time you're like hunching you're in the school and you're like oh. and you're like in your phone I don't have a phone well, you have an iPad and she uses the same. So you're in your iPad, you're like crunching here. Horrible. You grab your rope. <laughs> yeah, grab your rope. Then, oh, don't. Grab the rope. Don't. Grab your rope. Don't. Grab the rope. Don't. Stay here. Don't. So if you see a friend crunching like Gabby all the time, toes up, toes up, toes up. Crunch, Gabby, for me. <laughs> Crunch. Then you're gonna come and be like, oh, don't worry, my friend. You're gonna, I'm gonna leave you. And then you're getting the rope. Ready, Gabby? Mm -hmm. Pushing your rope. Pushing your rope. Pushing the rope. <laughs> Pushing the rope. And then keep bringing them up into your rope. And you're like, pointing the toes to the sky. I'm grabbing you from the rope. And then if they don't listen, then you grab them from the hair. Yeah? One of their hair is loose. You grab them from the whole hair up. Ah. Yeah? Okay. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm not, like, not meaning it. <laughs> Just the, the invisible rope is better. Grab the invisible rope. And remember, it's social distancing, so grab the invisible rope. We're away from them. <laughs> toes up, toes pointing up. The legs are nice, can be beautiful. No, toes more up. 
Yes. Go inward. Mm. Outward. Nice. Beautiful. That's it. You have to start feeling a nice sensation on the top of your legs. Do you feel it? Here. Yes. Feel it. Enjoy it. Keep grabbing your friends from the rope. From that invisible rope. Please don't crunch. If they crunch, you might feel them. <laughs> toes up, toes up, toes up. You're gonna keep that toes up for 10 seconds. Focus on the toes. Focus on getting long. The rope is here, a little bit taller. Five, four, three, two, one. No, don't crunch. You have to stay nice and tall. Right. From this tall space, hands up. Chiba Namaskar! Then you're gonna pull forward, you're gonna move forward, trying to see the toes. Without using the hands, you're not using the hands. You're just going to allow the hands to move down. You're not grabbing into anything. Finding your range of motion. You said now the hands are flop. Now I know it hurts. That's the idea. You're going to get flexibility into the back of the legs. Toes pointing up. <laughs> yes, yes, you have no flexibility into your into the back of your legs, you're worse than me. Hands into either no. side of your no. Yes, you are. No. Yeah. Hands on either side of your foot. Then you're gonna move up and down. And up and down and up and down. And up and down. You're all again like a bird figure. Then the try to show your chest forward. Maybe you can bring your hands against opposite elbows and feel that you're moving forward and forward and forward and forward. Or if you feel a bit kind of, you can play. Imagine you're rolling pizza. Rolling pizza, rolling pizza, rolling pizza, rolling pizza. Or playing with sand. Or, or playing with sand. Oh, you're in the beach and you're like, ooh, sand. Mm, sand. Mm, sand. <laughs> toes up. Toes up. You think nice. Feel it into the legs. Keep feeling into the legs. Then stay as forward as you can. <laughs> nice. That's it. That's it. Release. Chest forward, chest forward, chest forward. Mm. Slowly, 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 slowly lift. Hands open as wide as the mat. We're going to do a little bit as wide as the mat. You said hands. Legs, oh sorry, legs open as wide as the mat. We're going to do a little bit of a game. We're going to bring our right hand towards the outside of the left. Then up without touching. Outside of the left, opposite hand, opposite foot. A little bit of coordination needed for this. And side to side. Keep your chest as tall as you can. Your back is as straight as possible. So now that there is social distancing, because your legs are about a one meter, you can play this with your friends. Go back. Oh, well, we can do this this way, yeah? One, to the back. You kind of touch, so you're going to go into opposite side. So open your feet as wide as the mat. Feet together. You're going to go against opposite foot. So I'm going to move first. Towards my, we're going to move at the same time towards our uh, towards the same foot. Okay, I'm going to we're going to move towards our left foot. Ready? One, two, three. Opposite hand. Then you can tickle, 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 tickle. You're sitting two meters distance. Not gonna touch. Not opposite. Opposite. Aye. Opposite. 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 
Opposite. Opposite. And opposite. Nice. This little thing you want to like it. Yeah, but you can't touch the piggies of your friends. So. Yeah. But generally, when you were mom. So you're going to, yeah, exactly. So now we're going to imagine in the social distancing <laughs> time or another game. They were gonna hug, but we can't hug because we have to keep two meters distance. So you guys are gonna try to hug on it. Come on, something. Closer. 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 Toes pointing up. Okay. Not so much. Not so open. Close the toes. Close. Close the feet. Close up. Close up. Close up, Gabby. Nice. Try to hug me. Come on over here. Come here, come here. Oh, no, come here. Then I'm gonna hug Gabby. Oh, Gabby, I'm gonna hug you. Hug you. Hug you. And then Gabby's gonna hug me. Come on, hug me. Hug me. Hug me. Nice, and I'm gonna hug Gabby. Gabby. No, 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 man. Hug me. Hug me. Then hug. Come on. Yeah. Say, try to hug your friend. Then my turn, I'm gonna hug my friend, my friend, my friend. And because we're with our mummies, maybe we can hug. Come on, try to hug your mummies or your daddies. Come on, Mom, no, no, my extend. Extend. Mm -hmm. hug, hug. Get a little bit closer, go. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mom, I what? I hurt a lot. Where? Uh-huh. So that's good. You can keep doing that if you want. But for now, we're going to use our legs as they are. If you are stays with your mom, then your mom is going to go on the outside. You're going to come into the inside. Keep the feet a bit open. And then you're just going to allow yourself to go down. Keep be careful with the water too close to the wall that we come here. Mm. Mm. Uh, I am perfect. Mm. So he's really mm. down. You can go into your cross leg chavasana. If you want to make the chavasana impossible for your little one or for your mom, you can tickle your feet. Tickle chavasana. This could be a concentration pose to see if they can stay still despite somebody tickling them. Tickling meditation, I call this. Tickling meditation. Tickling meditation. Tickling meditation. Now release your degree in meditation. Allow for just one minute to release anything, anything that you have in your mind, little ones, just let go. Let go. Anything good or bad, just let go. Concentrate on the feeling of your mat and how the air feels. And how your mom's feet feel. Start to wake up. So really open your toes. You can help your little one and you can help your mom to open toes by bringing your fingers in between. Hopefully they have washed their feet recently. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. In between, in between the toes. Have you washed your feet recently? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Okay. 
Separate the fingers. Separate the fingers. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm smelly. Yeah, the toes smell smelly. The toes smell smelly. Separate the fingers. Activate the toes. Activate the feet. Yeah, activate them. Do the same with one. Then release, release, bend the knees. We don't want to bring the knees into the chest, so the mom's going to bring the knees into the chest. Come on, Gabby, get into your chest. Come into the board. Don't use the hands, see, we don't need to use the hands. Side to side without using the hands. Side to side. Rocking side to side. Allow the knees to go into the left side. Remembering that we open the chest to the opposite side. Twist to the other side. Feels nice, that is beautiful. Breathe is any tension. Using your hands, you just come back into. Oh no, we're not using our hands. So we're going to go into a cuddle. And we're going to give ideas to Chris on how to go up from here. How do you think she's going to go up from here without using her hands too much? You could go like this. Yeah. Now I sit up. Nice, yes. That's beautiful. And then we use her core. And then you kiss. Oh, you can do like this. No, because you're using the hands. Yep. That's a lot more difficult. Oh. <laughs> okay. Crush. One. Core. Mm -hmm. Hug. Then you finish your class by hugging. It's not like coconut. Hugging those you can hug. A nice meditation to go. Have a nice day. Keep hugging those you can. Bye. 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 Bye.